Fortnite has been running its game for 7 years now, and it's obviously not the same as it once was because that's not how games work, at least live service games to be fair. And it's still a game I love to this day, even through its worst changes and even through its better changes for the game, I would still say overall, modern Fortnite has a lot more to offer than even Chapter 1 in a lot of ways. But at the same time, to ignore everything that we once had in the game is another problem. Either way you stand, if you still play this game and hate on it constantly, you still like this game. Because if that was the case, I would still be playing Overwatch right now, so I don't want to hear it. But with all that aside, you can clearly tell that the community is split into two different sides. One that says that the OG version of Fortnite is the only good version of it and that it will never be good again, which is obviously delusional. But then there's the other side that say, old Fortnite is trash, they're just nostalgia blind, there's nothing good about it, this and that. And listen, both sides aren't in the wrong here, but neither are they in the right. There are definitely things that they say that are right, and there are things that they say are wrong. But overall, neither of them are completely right or completely wrong. My bad for the slight tongue twister there, but overall, I think you can understand where I'm coming from. You guys know that I'm always glazing Chapter 2, and I would even say that it's Prime Fortnite and Peak Fortnite, but at the same time, I glaze Chapter 4 all the time. I even glaze Chapter 1 and 3 sometimes. The game is just genuinely good. I don't think there has been any point where I really hated the game. There's definitely been bad seasons, but even those bad seasons brought a lot of fun things to use into the game. But what both sides of the player base need to understand is that for the players that love the modern seasons and defend the modern seasons with their life and think that that's the only point where Fortnite has been good, that's obviously not true. You need to understand that there were points in Fortnite's past that brought it up so high and is the reason for its success. If you even look at the statistics, that's when Fortnite was at its actual peak. Even when they brought back OG Fortnite, that was the peak of Chapter 4, which it wasn't my favorite season in Chapter 4, but it was definitely the peak of the game, so your argument is just wrong. But the OG version of Fortnite is the only good version of it, Chapter 1 is the only peak of Fortnite, or even Chapter 2, which I love, you're just wrong about that. There's been good parts of every single Fortnite chapter. In fact, there's been parts of newer Fortnite chapters that were way better than anything Chapter 1 or 2 could do. You guys gotta understand that there's new Fortnite players every single day, and there's people coming back to Fortnite every single day, and we need to find a middle ground where both these players can be happy and still enjoy the game. These newer players haven't experienced the OG Fortnite and the OG feeling of Fortnite that you have. They're experiencing it right now. That's when they're experiencing it. They don't know how it felt seven years ago when you first played the game. So to them, this is Fortnite's prime. This is how good it feels. And there's definitely people who will agree that further chapters even after they started playing are better. But there are a lot of people that get stuck in the one chapter that they played and think that it's the best. Which it might be. But at the end of the day, there are people that are experiencing it at its newer form for the first time in their life. And to them, that might be peak. But for those newer players to completely throw aside everything that Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 did, and even Chapter 3, it doesn't really make sense and it just doesn't sound logical. There obviously needs to be a middle ground that's found where both players can be happy, but at the end of the day, even if we do that, will they really even be happy? Like, really think about it. Every single time something good happens in this game, there's still complaints after like two weeks. So I really ask myself, would that even work for this game anymore? So in this video, I want to go through some of the complaints I see all the time and kind of argue for both sides here. Look back at the items that we got in Chapter 1 or 2. Not Mythic Sconid, just the items that we got in general. Guns, stuff like shockwaves, heals, things like that. These things were crucial to bring the game forward and really build what Fortnite was. At the end of the day, I think today, Fortnite isn't really Fortnite without the mythics that it has and the crazy items it has. But back then, this is what Fortnite was. You know, it had the very special guns. In Chapter 2, we definitely did start to get more mythics, and that's when I think it was a perfect transitional phase. And that's why I think Chapter 2 was so good because it really did find this middle ground between newer and older players. But taking up my bias, there's so many guns that the older players love to use and experience. And, and obviously, the newer players haven't experienced them yet. So I think it's unfair for one, them not to be able to use these in the Battle Royale setting, but two, for older players not to be able to experience what they used to be able to because Epic only wants to bring new guns into the game. When Chapter 3 first started, and don't get me wrong, Chapter 3 Season 1 was a great season, but this is really where they started to recycle guns as in just remaking them and not even bringing in the original gun. And it didn't really change anything other than change the name and just kind of throw it off a little bit and make it just a little bit worse than its predecessor. We saw this go even further in Chapter 4 where we barely saw the return of old guns and it was all new guns, like nothing else but new guns. And don't get me wrong, I love seeing new guns in this game, but when they're just not original and they're just remaking a gun but a little bit worse than before, why even do it at that point? Just bring back the older guns and add newer guns that actually make sense to be new. And now in Chapter 5, they're completely remaking the gun with the same name that it used to have just so that they can put mods on it. Listen, I don't hate mods. I actually really like them. I think without them in the game, it would kind of ruin it. I don't want them to be removed at all. 
but I think the fact that we're not adding certain guns just because we can't mod them makes zero sense to me. Especially when there's people that don't like mods and are fine with playing without them, I think it's fine to add guns that don't need to be modded necessarily. Now where I take the side of the newer players is that the game has offered so much recently when it comes to everything else, even guns. We do get a lot of new guns that we have to appreciate. Although there are guns that are similar to old guns like the auto shotgun looking exactly like the drum shotgun, we have guns like the gatekeeper where we've never really seen before. Sure, it is a lot like the tack and the pump, but it's a mashup of the two and that's interesting. Look at the new POIs we have. These are some of the most insane and biggest POIs we've ever seen in this game before and honestly, they're better than any POI I think we got in chapter one. Speaking of the season two POIs, Wise. The season 1 POIs didn't blow me away too much, although there were definitely some specialties in there too. So when you discredit all of what Epic's worked on in this entire season and say, I think OG Fortnite's better and nothing is going to be OG Fortnite and this is ass, that's just not true. Like, it's just objectively not true. This, the work they put into this game right here and all these POIs, all these weapons, you can definitely see that they still care about the game to a certain degree. I mean, even the battle pass. This is better than most of Chapter 1's battle passes and it's probably one of the best we've gotten in the game in its entire run span. So when I see them add all these crazy and creative things to the game including every POI that they've added every single gun they've added this season every single item they've added this season and OGs instead just say no we should keep it at OG and nothing else that makes zero sense like you would get bored of the game eventually and if you actually experienced it for seven years straight with only the same exact 10 seasons you would get bored and understand you took the entire game for granted it seems like whatever turn Epic takes they just get yelled at by someone in the community I mean we literally just gave the OG players an entire OG season and they're still getting mad about OG not being in Fortnite. Like, buddy, you just got an entire month to experience that. Go cry and play fucking Call of Duty. I don't know. But also, both new and old players are constantly complaining with the item shop. What the fuck does that have to do with the gameplay? Like, really? Listen, I like cosmetics a lot. I use cosmetics all the time. I enjoy them. But why do we focus so much on things like this? We don't really need to. And to a game that you guys consider that you hate, why would you even want to buy more cosmetics in the game? Just go buy things in real life or just in a different game. And then don't even get me started on the rarity thing. Bro, nobody cares about this. Unless you're like, if this is actually what you care about in your daily life, I don't know what to tell you. Sure, it's a little annoying. I understand that but like if this is what you base a game off of I don't know what to tell you at this point and then also the locker UI yeah it is a little more annoying to navigate around but in some ways I think it's a lot better than the old one the fact that you can now save emotes to a different slot than you know the skins I think that's a great addition to it there definitely are some annoying parts about it don't get me wrong but overall I definitely prefer this to the old one and even if you don't it's not that big of a deal feels like now that epic has a two-week break before they get into hate for the season at the start of the Greek season everyone loved it and then eventually they people started hating on it I go to comment sections on Instagram like from their actual post from Fortnite and it would just be everyone in the comments saying bring Kratos to the item shop bring Travis Scott to the item shop bring back OG and off of this you'd be like oh well a bunch of the players want it no it's just most people don't complain this much if you really go under Fortnite Instagram posts and complain about uh, wanting OG back I don't know what to tell you. Like, you you stooped low, bro. Or again, for the newer players, I usually always am blazing Fortnite on this channel, and you guys know that. But I post one video where I'm, you know, I'm giving some constructive criticism about the game, and everyone in the comments says I'm hating. All the newer players say, oh, you're hating, you're hating this and that. Listen, I wasn't saying I want necessarily OG back or that I hate new Fortnite. All I'm saying in that video is that they can mix parts of the old Fortnite, the good parts of old Fortnite, with the good parts of new Fortnite. But apparently people just can't comprehend that. I don't really understand where that goes over your head because I clearly say that in the video, but I don't even know what to tell you again. And then the people that talk about how we got new modes and this is why we should respect Battle Royale more. What the hell does Rocket Racing, Fortnite Festival, and LEGO Fortnite have to do with the Battle Royale? In fact, I don't care about these new modes at all. They're not that fun to play. So this does not impact my decision on if the game is good or bad or not i don't know why i said not but i actually really do like this season and it probably will go on my top 10 by the end of it don't get me wrong but you have to understand that you're glazing just a little bit I love a good amount of the Fortnite community, especially people that watch me on this channel. A lot of them are very respectful and still love the game, but are able to give it some constructive criticism. That's something I can respect in the game, or a game community, my bad. But when I just see these annoying comments in this annoying part of the community, the other side of it, like I genuinely enjoy reading hate comments more than the comments that are either just complaining about the game to complain because they have nothing else to do with their life, or the comments where they're just constantly glazing the game and anytime I give it any piece of criticism, they get mad.
that. But you have to understand there's a middle ground and you're just being annoying. Like you're just going overboard with your decisions. And listen, this thing I experienced in a lot of other communities. I'm a big fan of rap, so I see this a lot when it comes to different rappers' fan bases. I'm a big fan of other video games. I see this a lot when it comes to video game fan bases, things like that. I can understand why it's like this with Fortnite too, but it's just still annoying. And I think it's one of the worst I've seen, at least I've experienced, when it comes to the Fortnite community, bro. It's so split and it's not even funny. But that's really all I have to say. I've already gone in this video for way too long, so I'll just end it right here. Tell me what you guys think in the comments again, as long as you're not just going to complain. Um, and I'll see you guys later.